Hi, I'm Harrison with Luxury Pergola, and this is our pergola, or the Luxury Pergola. Today we're going to talk about how we built it. So Luxury Pergola is an aluminum pergola that opens and closes. It's got internal gutter system on the entire inside so that if you close it, you can keep the rain off of you, and then obviously the sun as well when it's closed. The whole thing drains out through a post right here. The main thing that we wanted was to build a product here in America, send it to people here, and when you put it on your home, to never have to worry about it again. And there's a lot of different ways that we got there. We're gonna go through those in detail. So as we're looking at the system, what do we wanna start with are the structural posts. And the posts themselves frame everything. This is where all of the anchor points start with. So you need to have a strong connection point right here. This is our 18 inch stainless steel post base. And this is a hefty piece of metal. This alone weighs about 26 pounds. The point here was to have an easy way to install our unit with the outside screws, give it a, a lot of structural strength. So it's got a 3 8 plate at the base. And then obviously the collar goes up 18 inches and that's because you don't want the post to move. If you have too much wind on the top end of the unit because it's nine feet up in the air, you could end up moving it to the point where you break off uh, the connection. So you wanna make sure you have a high collar inside on this post base. So that's how we built it. It's always built with a drainage section here, and this is just to make sure that you have an attractive way that the water comes out. This here is the drainage post, so it's already notched. All the other posts, you won't see a drain here. The post itself is also a little bit beefier than what you'd find out of even our commercial industry where we originally came from. This is a 3 16 thick post of aluminum extrusions. It's a 60-63 T6 or aircraft grade aluminum. You'll find that in everything on our entire system from the post to the beams to the gutters and even the louvers, which weigh about 23 pounds a pop on a 12 foot louver. So everything's pretty heavy. About a 12 by 16 is around 1800 pounds. And that's important because that's where a lot of your structural strength comes from. And these posts are paramount to that. The post itself is also seven inches by seven inches. And that's because there's six by six out there and there's eight by eight out there but proportionally from an aesthetic standpoint, seven by seven tends to bridge that gap and it allows us to have one post for all the other attachments we're eventually gonna come out with as well as for drop shades like this. As we move up the unit, you're gonna find the beams that carry all the weight, including all the louvers. Those are a two by 10 aluminum extrusion and those are designed to be able to carry more weight, frankly, than you're probably going to handle. Those headers allow it to handle 8,000 pounds of snow when the unit is closed. So you don't have to worry when the winter comes in. It can also handle 130 mile per hour wind loads with the louvers closed. So the beams are carrying a lot of weight and they can do up to a 20 foot clear span in a single section. That two by 10 is gonna give you a higher proportional look, but it's gonna look nicer as we look to the trim. Now this unit here has a contemporary crown molding. There's different crown moldings that we offer. One of those is the traditional crown molding, which looks more like a crown molding you'd find on a kitchen cabinet or in any traditional landscape. The contemporary crown molding is a much more modern look with this stepped fascia design. And either of them can be added to the unit when you buy it. It's even able to be installed after you've built the pergola if you change your mind. As we look around the unit on the interior, you'll find our gutter system. Now the gutters are designed much larger than the gutters on your home. This is a five and a half inch flat profile gutter system. And the reason why it's a little bit larger is just because it carries a decent amount of water and because of its flat design. You wanna make sure that it looks integrated in the system. If you look at the unit, you've got basically no separation from the bottom side between the beams and the gutters so that it looks like one unit. Most people will walk by, look at the unit and ask where the gutter is because they can't see it. That's the design, it's supposed to look like that. And then on each of the gutter connections, you're gonna find a gutter connector there, and that's just used to tee everything together over each of these posts. And that was designed by myself and my father on purpose because it softens each of those 90 degree corners. As opposed to a harsh angle, you sort of add that 45 in there to break up the appearance of the interior of the pergola. Everything's squared on this, and so having a little extra angle makes it look a little softer. Functionality and aesthetics are key. So even if you decide you wanna add one of our shades, either during the original purchase of your pergola or afterwards, everything is designed to be as seamless as possible. That's why when you look at this, when you buy the shade, you end up with a nice flat profile as the track meets the post itself. Everything's supposed to be integrated. We wanna make sure that you don't really have to worry about it. When you open up the box and you put it together, it looks nice right away. As you come in on the inside, you're gonna see each of our louvers. Now each louver design 
is the main differentiator you're going to find between you know, any of the other commercial players out there as well as even some of the imported versions that are less expensive. The louvers carry all of the load and do all of the work and also play into the way that it looks more than anything else. As you look at the louver profile, it's designed with a lot of different profiles in mind. One of the things here to point out is this weather stripping. So this is placed inside the louver in order to make sure that more than anything, when you close your louvers, you don't hear the sound of aluminum hitting aluminum. Nothing is less refined than a nice metallic sound. So we wanted to make sure that we gave you that seal there in order to deaden the sound. It also serves as a great barrier for water vapor and moisture to keep it off of you or anyone below it when the unit is closed. It's also designed here with what we call a no spill edge. And the concept you see of this acute angle is so that when water is sitting on top of it after a long rain the night before and you go to open it up, you can open it all the way to 90 degrees before all of this water here spills on top of your head. No spill edge. So that way, if you want to, you can open up in the morning, let the water drain out and not have to worry about standing underneath it as it drops on your head. That was one of the things that my father and I designed in the louver to make sure that you didn't have any problems. And that was something that we had heard about other products. Here in the middle, you're gonna see that this is a hollow extrusion. It's got a V groove in the bottom. So the hollow extrusion allows for heat radiation to be as minimal as possible. That way the top heats up and the bottom stays cool while you stay cool beneath it. The V-groove here is mainly aesthetic, and the concept here is this is an eight inch louver. If you didn't have this, you'd have eight inch sections of framing above your head, and they look a little too wide. So to break that up, this V-groove is here so that when you close the whole unit, it looks more like a traditional car siding or tongue and groove ceiling in terms of the dimension from the V-groove to the edge of the seam of each louver connection. So as you look here underneath, you're gonna be able to see each of these closing together and how that breaks up the overall look of the ceiling of the unit. It's also flat in profile to make sure that it looks nice. It looks like an actual traditional ceiling when the unit is closed. This here is our end cap. So this is something that's unique to our design of our louvered system and something you don't see out of anyone else's product. It is a glass filled polymer. And the reason why we picked that is because it's self lubricating. The concept there with every other system is you have an aluminum nub, or an aluminum end cap. The problem there is aluminum rotating in aluminum. Once the paint wears away, you're creating aluminum oxide, which is what they make sandpaper out of. So you get a nice groaning or gritting sound as it opens and closes. So we wanna make sure we got rid of that. So a glass filled polymer gives a lot of benefits. It's used in the bearings and semis. And so you get a lot of resilience. You get a lot of structure. That's what our snow load can handle is on this end cap but when it gets wet, it's actually self-lubricating. So you get the added benefit of something that sounds nice and quiet anytime you open or close it. Up here, you can see our center beam, and the center beam itself is used for a lot of different things, but mainly it's used as a carrier in case someone wanted to attach something else to it. It gives you the structure to be able to add whatever you want to later on. Now, the center beam is designed to be mounted from gutter to gutter, and again, a seamless design is what we were going for. So when we were designing it, we wanted to make sure that the way that it was attached would give you a nice level playing field from the top of the post all the way over across underneath the center beam throughout the entire system, including the gutters. And so that's how the center beam is designed. So the other thing we didn't touch on is the size of the unit. So this goes up to a 12 by 20. That carries the same 8,000 pounds of snow or 130 mile per hour wind loads. Now, if you wanna go bigger, we also have super pergolas, which is our fun name of basically two pergolas that get joined together. We have videos that go through exactly how they join together, but you can join on another pergola onto this using one post as the carrier between the two. So you have to let us know that that's what you plan to do. And then again, we have an install video that goes over the differences between the two and how to put it together. But you can, in theory, continue to extend this out to as much as a 24 by 20 or a 12 by 40. In theory, because you can join another pergola on this, you can also build a super duper pergola, which is three pergolas joined onto one another. There you start to have issues with electrical and drainage. So we wanna make sure we reach out to you and talk you through what you're building and the size you're building to make sure all of the units can drain and get electrical as they need to and that you know the trade-offs to make something that's a super duper pergola, but we do have that option as well. The other thing that's important is the motor. And when you're looking at a motor, one of the most important pieces there is gonna be water resistance because it sits out in the elements all year long. So you wanna make sure that something is going to be 
watertight. So what we have is an IP66 rated 24 volt motor. It only pour, pulls about three amps. So if you're worried about power on a circuit, it's not that much, three amps at 24 volts. The unit itself at IP66, what that means is, the first six means it's dust proof. The second six means that the way they test it for water resistance is they spray powerful jets at the motor and see if any water gets inside. So you're fine when it comes to rain. That being said, all our motors come with a one year free warranty, so you don't have to worry about it. So to get power to the motor, you're gonna follow a landscape line. We ship with 50 feet of landscape cable, so you can see how much excess is coming out here from this 12 by 20. That would allow you to run the power from the post all the way over to wherever your power source is. If you walk over this way, you'll see the electrical box that basically houses everything. Now, this is one of the old generations. We are moving to a smaller box in order to make sure that it causes less of an eyesore on your home. But everything is controlled inside here with the receiver and the transformer to step the power down. But you shouldn't ever really need to open this box unless you actually have an issue. All you need to do is wire it to the motor in our install guide and then plug in the cord, which plugs into a normal standard outlet just like it does right here. It's also duration is important to us. So what you're gonna find with this extrusion is we got the top of the line paint that we could buy. This is an AMA 2605 rated powder coat. What that means is powder is sprayed on in a dry version as powder that's electrostatically charged to cling on to the extrusion after it's gone through a chemical bath to etch the extrusion. And then after that, when they fire it in a kiln like you make ceramics, they melt it on basically at 400 or over 400 degrees for a certain period of time. But that 2605 rating means a lot of different things in terms of qualifications. But for you, what that means is you could set it on a beach next to the coast in salt air, which destroys everything. And it will have minimal difference from the day you put it up to 10 years later. So that is important to us. Now, while that's an extreme example, because most people that live near the coast have to change the paint on their house every two years, we want to make sure that they worry about it as little as possible. We even take that all the way down to the fasteners. And the fasteners themselves are powder coated. They're normally painted onto the actual head of the screw, but we want to make sure you don't have any chipping off as you screw it down onto the post. And that even goes into the salt spray that's on the screws to make sure that you don't have any corrosion of the screws themselves. Everything is designed with maximum durability and duration in mind. So you don't have rust points, you don't have problems over the next however many years that you enjoy it. We try to think through how it looks and how it performs from day one to day 1000. Aside from the way it looks and the way it designs, obviously there's even finer points in the installation. We came from the field of installing, so we made it as simple to install as possible. That's a different video, that's our install manual. You can find it linked up here at this card. You'll also find it in the description of this video. Any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. We're typically pretty active and try to answer those. Other than that, do us a favor and subscribe. Till the next one, see ya.